सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर थ्री फिजिकल एजुकेशन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव टीचिंग लर्निंग अप्रोच वी हैव सो फार डिस्कस्ड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ फिजिकल एजुकेशन एज अ सब्जेक्ट एरिया इन द स्कूल कैरिकुलम इट इज एन इंटेग्रल पार्ट ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन which is prescribed as a compulsory subject at the primary classes or grades 1 to 5 upper primary classes or grades 6 to 8 and secondary stages classes or grades 9th and 10th and as an optional subject at higher secondary stage classes or grades 11th and 12th page number 34 but as you may be experiencing in actual practices this subject has not been treated at par with other core subjects it is not transacted satisfactorily in majority of schools and wherever it is transacted either some knowledge about games and sports is imparted or only a selected group of students are engaged in games and sports as extra curricular activities arguments like lack of the needed infrastructure and equipment absence of trained teachers and paucity of time in schools are given as reasons for indifferent transaction of physical education in fact most significant reason is the lack of appreciation of the relevance of this area for the holistic development of children by school authorities teachers and parents 3.5.1 methodology of teaching learning it is generally believed that the methodology of teaching learning is the concern of teachers only learners have little or nothing to do with it but this is not true the teaching learning methods are concerns of learners as well knowing and understanding that how different subjects are taught are important for the learners of all subjects but it has more relevance for the learners of physical education When we talk about you as learners of physical education we mean that you have actually participated in the subject area rather than merely studied it it needs a suitable learning environment and a positive will for participation as you know physical education does not mean organization of a few sports and games activities involving only a selected number of students and that to occasionally The following points are significant for the appreciation of this subject and the need for adopting appropriate teaching learning methodology. Physical education is necessary to ensure participation of all children in free play, informal and formal games and sports activities. All students must be involved in health and physical education activities. Those who choose to excel in games and sports need to be provided adequate opportunity. Involvement of all learners means that even those students need to be involved who are at the risk of marginalization. For instance, who are differently abled. Now, on the left side of the page we have box 3.3. Let's read this now. The first point says Why do you feel that it is important for students to know how physical education activities are organized in school? Point number 2. Should the focus of physical education be only on selected students or for all? You can also discuss with your classmates. Point number 3. Seema is a differently abled girl and is on a wheelchair in the playground. What will you do to involve her in the game you are playing? page number 35 such involvement will empower them to overcome the sense of helplessness inferiority and stigma differences between students must be viewed as resource for supporting learning rather than as a problem inclusion in education is one of the components of inclusion in society now time for some activity activity 3.2 You must have observed some students not participating in physical education activities including sports in your school. Discuss with them and your peers how to ensure their participation in physical activities individual and sports. 3.5.2 
Physical Education Cards PEC Methodology Various methodologies are being employed and efforts are on to develop innovative teaching learning methodologies. One such methodology known as PEC India Methodology has been developed. It is the outcome of a joint initiative of the British Council and the Ministry of Human Resource Development, Government of India. Other international organizations, United Nations International Children Emergency Fund, UNICEF, and UK Sports were also involved. To begin with, this was developed for the primary stage and it was scientifically tried out in schools. The tryout has proved its effectiveness. Based on this experience, the Physical Education Cards PEC and Teacher's Manual have been developed for the upper primary and secondary stages as well. Moreover, this methodology has also taken care of the needs of differently abled children. They should also be involved in physical education. The notable features of this methodology are as follows. Number 1. It ensures that every student participates in physical education activities equally. Each card provides essential information needed for engaging all students of a class in the selected game or activity, even though the class has larger number of students. Number 2. Teachers as well as students have material in the form of cards that can be conveniently handled and used for a longer time and in a better way. Number 3. The cards will not only facilitate the organization of activities but also make it more convenient for the teacher as well as students to comprehend the concerned vocabulary as well as pedagogical tools to organize games, sports and activities and provide equal opportunity to every student to participate in these. And, number four, each card mentions how the impact of activities conducted according to the process explained in it will attain the objectives of health and physical education and how the achievements of students may be evaluated. Figure one shows a picture from a playground where there are students lined up and in front of the line of students, there is a special child playing with the bat. Along with the children, we can see their physical education teacher and other teachers as well. Page number 36. Activity 3.3 Prepare one physical education card for any sport of choice in group. Now here on page number 36, we have three different images. The first image is titled as Let's Get Fit. In this image, we can see different groups doing different physical activities. A group is playing football, while the other group is running around a play field. We can see some girls are practicing freehand exercises. There are boys who are doing push-ups. Some girls are also doing skipping with the help of a rope. Moving on to the next image. This is titled as Lead Up Games for Kabaddi. In this image, we can see that players are preparing themselves for a game of Kabaddi. In picture number one, a player is stopping the other player from crossing the line by pulling his leg. In picture number two, two players are grappling with each other. In picture number three, we can see team spirit. One of the players has got injured and two other players are taking him out of the playfield. In picture number four, we can see a Kabaddi match in action. The third image is titled as Track and Field Events. On the top, we can see a cricket match being played. A batsman is running between the wickets. The second picture shows an activity which says hop, then stop and then jump. Some players are hopping, then stopping and then jumping ahead. And then there are other players who are throwing a ball. And then there is a group of four girls who are passing the ball. Page number 37. Assessment. Option. It's assessment time now. Answer the following questions. Number 1. Define physical education and discuss its main objectives. Number 2. What is the scope of physical education? Number 3. Describe a process that can ensure equal participation of all students of a class in a game of your choice. 
नंबर फोर प्रिपेयर अ रिपोर्ट ऑन द एक्चुअल इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन इन योर स्कूल नंबर फाइव हाउ द कम्युनिटी एंड इट्स सोर्सेस कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर प्रमोटिंग हेल्थ एंड फिटनेस ऑफ चिल्ड्रन नंबर सिक्स अ टीचर इज रेगुलरली ट्रेनिंग इलेवन स्टूडेंट्स फॉर प्लेइंग क्रिकेट डू यू थिंक द टीचर इज वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स द अटेनमेंट ऑफ फिजिकल एजुकेशन ऑब्जेक्टिव गिव एडिक्वेट रीजन्स फॉर योर थिंकिंग fill in the blanks number 1 physical education has evolved as a multi dash subject number 2 all children should get dash to participate in games number 3 through physical education activities dash of a child is developed number 4 physical education subject is at dash with other subjects tick mark either yes or no number 1 agility balance and coordination are fundamental movement skills that are developed through participation in games and sports number 2 pec means physical education codes number 3 physical education has been made a compulsory subject from class 1 to 10th number 4 Yoga is an integral part of health and physical education subject. Number 5. PEC ensures that every child finds equal opportunity to play game and sports. You were just listening to this audio book. Narrator Neeraj Yadav, technical coordinator Bati Langlingdo, sound recordist Shanu Mukseem, assistants in production Ruchi Sharma. directed and produced by vimilesh choudhury this audio book is presented to you by cieet and cert new delhi india